Hello, this is Steve Hostetter once again at the Slavic Church in Harrisonburg, Virginia, where we are pouring concrete today. So as you will see, we have a lot of bracing on the walls, a lot of blocking to prevent concrete from breaking open block wherever we've cut the tabs. So as you look around, we, you'll notice we have a lot of different types of bracing. These walls right now are over 10 feet high, but we just poured to the bottom of the top course. And this is our heavy duty bracing we're using for this commercial job. It goes 10 feet up, and these are the turnbuckles that in order to adjust the wall in and out, you spin the turnbuckle and it will bring it in or out. And you screw the chases to the block tabs that keeps the block firmly in line with the brace. And then at the top, we both sight and string lines in order at the, once the concrete's in, you can manipulate the walls before it sets up to get a perfectly straight wall. Now with our build block forms, they are engineered to contain concrete and not to blow out. They're on six inch tabs, six inch centers. And as long as they are firmly sitting on a firm foundation and have concrete in them, there is no reason for them to tip. But once the concrete is in the wall, obviously it's fairly top heavy. So we brace every six to seven feet of every wall we pour with these braces in order to keep them perfectly plumb and straight. As I said, you can never brace it too much. What we did was, as we saw the wall trying to push the exterior wall, we had bracing in, but it rained last night, which is an a uncontrollable situation that our bracing on the outside were pinned to the ground and the rain loosened the pins. So we had to add more pins, add more bracing, and everything worked out. Those situations when concrete starts to push and pull a wall is a potential disaster where things could literally either explode or push a wall over. While the concrete's fresh, you have an opportunity for maybe a half hour to manipulate the concrete and push it and brace it in. And within an hour or two, you're not gonna push it. So it's very important to have a crew waiting and watching for every potential flaw. So thanks again for watching this video. I'm Steve Hostetter with Rocktown ICF Supply, and we will invite you back again when we go higher with our walls and continue on with another pour.